Hello and welcome. It is game day one of the FIBA America Cup qualifiers and we are here in San Juan, Puerto Rico for the hosts. Puerto Rico facing off against the Bahamas as these two teams open up Group D play for themselves. It is the road to the America Cup then. Puerto Rico fresh off qualifying through to the quarterfinal stages at the 2022 edition in the Bahamas trying to make it back for the second time in their history to that level as we see the four teams in uh, uh, Group D as the USA will face off against Cuba in the other game in our group. That is, of course, the opening game for all of these teams in this round of qualification. And what an opportunity this is for the Bahamas on the road here in Puerto Rico. A chance for them to get an all-important road win. Pressure really on the hosts to try and uh, win here, protect that home floor for your chances of qualification. A large crowd here in San Juan and a much changed Puerto Rican team. Uh, Used to seeing a very different lineup to this one. Just two players return from the uh, 2022 America Cup team. And, uh, still with some experience within their roster. And a host of new faces, no doubt. Motivated to prove their worth here at home in Sao Juan. An important game for these teams here in the opening of the qualification stage. The two teams have met in the past, in recent years, especially in uh, last year's America Cup qualifications, or 2022 qualifications, excuse me. Puerto Rico coming out on top in both those encounters, but both of them relatively close, including a five-point win in the Bahamas way back in February 2021. So players are announced and will listen to the national anthems of both teams starting with our visitors, Bahamas. Anthem's done then, and we will get underway shortly here in San Juan. Teams exchanging pleasantries, shaking hands, as we see our officiating crew for today's game. It is uh, three experienced referees, Julio Anala, Leonardo 
uh, Zalazar and uh, Wasim Hussine from Panama, Argentina and Canada, respectively. So we'll get a quick glimpse of the starting lineup for both teams then. First of all, starting with the visitors, the Bahamas, they will go with Bridgewater, Gordon Smith, Miller and Jones to make up their starting five. As we said, this is a Bahamas team that has qualified just one time for the FIBA America's Cup. And that was uh, back in 1995, where they finished in eighth position in Argentina. And so coach Moses Jones will be in charge, trying to lead his team back to the promised land if they can. And so the Bahamas. Puerto Rican team, you know, they are regulars at the Euro Cup level. You will see their starting five. It is uh, Reed Cruz, Negron, Fernandez, and Ismael Romero. Romero, you know, the one kind of holdover, most experienced member of this Puerto Rico team from the 2022 campaign. So I expect him to be a focal point of this offense for the man in charge on the sideline for Puerto Rico. It is Nelson Colon, the head coach. He said this is a Puerto Rican team. 19 times they have been to the America Cup. America Cup. They are fourth in the medal table with 10 medals overall. Three golds for them. As the last one, though, was uh, back in that 1995 edition, in fact, that uh, the Bahamas played in. So they are uh, teams that are known to each other as we are nearly ready to get underway here in San Juan. There are 16 teams in qualification in the America Cup, and it will be four teams of four. They've been divided into with three teams qualifying from each of the four groups to make up the teams that eventually do play. So a third place or better finish the goal for uh, the Bahamas. And, uh, it is a tough group D, as we already saw alongside uh, America and Cuba, who will be facing off right about the same time we'll get underway here in San Juan. Teams in their benches discussing the final parts of strategy. And as we said, you know, for uh, Puerto Rico, that 2022 America Cup campaign came to an end of the quarterfinal stages. They went down by a single point to the United States, 84 to 85. And a much changed team, as we've talked about, uh, turning out here today for Puerto Rico. How they would love to get that revenge over the US in this uh, qualification. And their recent appearances against each other. They said they've been close. Right here in Puerto Rico back in November 2020, it was 91 to 85. Puerto Rico took victory on that occasion with the Bahamas losing again in the return game, 97 to 102. Points difference may come into it, so both these teams will know not only are they looking to win or uh, you know or lose, but it's got to be with a good points difference as well. So if you're losing, you want to make it as close as possible. If it is victory, you want to get that advantage um, with the return leg in mind, and also any tied sort of positions that will then go to the head-to-head -head record between the teams. Players out onto the floor then. As, uh, there'll be a short break before we actually get underway here in San Juan. As we will break for a moment's silence in honor of Luis Cordero, the president of the Seguros Multipales organization a major sponsor of the Puerto Rican national team that recently passed away. 
when the teams will uh, honour a moment of silence in his memory and the work that he has done for the Puerto Rican national team over the last few years. We are set to get underway then here in San Juan. Welcome to Group D action. Puerto Rico against the Bahamas off and underway. Opening tip controlled by the Bahamas. Man-to-man -man defense from Puerto Rico. And it is uh, a high ball screen trying to find some room. And the first three knocked down by Dominic Bridgewater. And a great start for the Bahamas. Just the way they would have hoped to have drawn that one up. And so now Puerto Rico looking to get themselves off the mark. Slow approach from them. Shot clock getting low. As Bahamas looking to run again. Numbers in transition. Finish. Bounce is clear though. And now Puerto Rico push in the opposite direction. Hands of Fernandez. Fernandez kicks it back. Lovely extra pass. Crowd were up on their feet. They knew there was only one thing happening there. Bench up quickly for Ismail Cruz getting the opening look. And they know what a great shooter that man is. You can tell by the reaction from the bench. No hesitation. And the ball going up from him. And we're tied. Three apiece here. Miller responds a three of his own we've got a shootout in the early stages here in puerto rico both teams trade in three-point baskets as miller gets himself off the mark here is uh, fernandez once again on that far wing cruz already hit one long jumper this one doesn't go tips back well and then the attempted pass from romero turned over gets it back this time he says i'm not gonna pass i just Try and finish it shit on my own. And it rolls out from Romero. And uh, Bahamas go the other way. Opening though from Gordon as another three goes up. Bahamas comfortable shooting it from deep in the early stages here. Bridgewater manages to get in front of Fernandez as he'll pull up and the rebound can't be taken in cleanly. And it goes into the hands of a Puerto Rican man to inbound. So Jones, Kai Jones, unable to take that one in. Uh, Fernandez, the entry man, here he is, ball in his hands once more. Fernandez looking for options. Cuts go both ways as now Davon Reed pulls up on the elbow, doesn't go. Romero has it blocked from behind. And as Smith gets a piece of it. It will stay with Puerto Rico. Fernandez, 14 on the clock, gets it in. Now oh, Cruz once more. Crowd, we're ready for it, but uh, it doesn't go. Off that high screen, Bridgewater, lovely kick out, wide open look. That's why Bahamas want to play, penetrate, kick and shoot. Kai Jones getting himself off the mark. Three threes for the Bahamas, three different scorers. As Cruz gives it far side. Three ball is up and it's another one. <laughs> Only threes count here in San Juan as Reed makes his triple. Five threes already between these two teams. Could be another one there, a little bit of space as now Bahamas 
Come inside the three-point arc. Moving the ball well. Another one rattles home. It is uh, Smith knocking his shot down. Ripley is a uh, three-point shoot out here. Early stages. Three and a half minutes in. No one's made a two yet, but right on the mark. Great alley-oop. And the easy finish from the Grand. Good work from uh, Puerto Rico using that pick and roll as the foul is called. Frustration for Reed. He didn't like it. After the beautiful assist he made at the other end, he commits the first foul. Two shots to come for Adon Gordon. Gordon, the only man not to score for the Bahamas in this uh, first few minutes here. Knocks it down. That's just great team basketball, isn't it? I think, uh, you know, you'll be happy with that on the sideline because right now you're four minutes into the game. All five guys have scored. Coach Moses Jones will be happy. Everybody sharing at the ball. Shot it extremely well from the outside. See if that opens up the, uh, the interior. Uh, Bahamas can work early as... Now they're going to come with a little 2-2-1 press. Change up from them. Try and sh unsettle Puerto Rico, but it doesn't work because the rotation just left a wide open read. He's buried his second three. Here is Gordon using that side screen. Pick and pop. Another three up. Miller's one bounces clear, though. Uh, Fernandez pushes the other way. Gives it up to Cruz. Cruz, he sets his feet. He won't hesitate. Too strong, though. And the rebound snatched in by Kai Jones. And versatile pieces for the Bahamas. Guys play inside and out. As the long pull-up is good. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Smooth stroke there for Smith. Already he has five. And it looks like a change up to a zone now for the Bahamas. Only for them to go to the zone. 3-2. That long arms of Kai Jones up top. It works on this occasion as Puerto Rico turn it over. Here comes Bahamas pushing in transition. And a foul is going to be called on Cruz. That's what we're talking about. The, the length of this Bahamas team, but versatile pieces. See Smith handling the ball in transition. I like the change up with the, the zone action as well. And Puerto Rico are going to be forced to make a couple of changes here. First substitution coming in for them. It's Alfonso Plummer in. And Alexander Capos as well. Replacing Negron and Cruz. And a pull-up jumper doesn't go for Bridgewater. Back to man-to-man -man for the Bahamas as... Uh, Fernandez gets a little separation. Oh, it's a good bounce pass, but the man, the target, was falling to the floor. Romero looking towards the uh, the official. So have to say, I was fouled. That's why I'm here on the floor. But frustration for Puerto Rico. It's Mom Romero wide open down the middle, and the ball just kind of bounces slow mo over him. So it is, in fact, going to be called a foul on Tavario Miller. So, first substitution for Bahamas. He's Rashad Davis in for Smith. Another miss. And Miller picks up the rebound. Strong drive. Gordon loses it. Puerto Rico looking to run, but they're going to give it straight back. Gordon's down the floor. Can they find him? They do, but Bridgewater... Nearly turns it over, cross-court pass, eventually put home. Rashad, and a tough finish from uh, Davis there, Rashad Davis with the score. And the impact for him. And now he's playing on that defensive end. As Fernandez again gets a lot of room off the ball screen. Jumper doesn't go. And uh, Bahamas cleaning up on the defensive glass right now. Penetration and the finish. This time is good for 
out on Gordon. Bahamas rolling in the early stages here. Puerto Rico calling a timeout. It is a stunned crowd. And San Juan has uh, have yet to get into this one thanks to some great offensive basketball from the Bahamas. How impressive have they been in this opening? What, seven minutes or so in this one, six and a half minutes. Let's see if we can listen in to Puerto Rico. What changes are they going to make? Or is it just a, a chance to settle down, get themselves into the game? Always difficult in these early stages, you know, how good a scouting report have you seen on the other team? How much preparation have you been able to get in? Uh, right now for Puerto Rico, it's learning on the fly. Can hear the defensive adjustments they're trying to make. See if they can. Make changes for the way. And, uh, you know, the Bahamas have set out. So, possession for Puerto Rico. Again, this changing defense from the Bahamas has kept him off guard, though. No shot clock, and the pull-up jumper misses badly. Again, in transition, Rasad Davis trying to push, gives it to uh, Bridgewater. Back to Davis, his three. Way off, though. And then there's Puerto Rico heading in the opposite direction. Cross-court pass. The extra finds the open man in Capos. He's unable to finish, but a foul on the boards. Davis trying to play above his size there. Get involved on the glass. Commits the personal, though. Oh, excuse me. The foul is actually on Kai Jones. Hand in the back, perhaps. And the Garon does a good job drawing that foul. Great defense from Bridgewater. Manages to save it in a foot race. The Bahamas win. And will keep possession after the big block, but I love the effort. Running the floor for Godfrey Roll. There he is, chasing it down. It was well blocked in the end. But great energy from Roll to get it for his team. Here is Roll, moving it on. And it's Puerto Rico's deep chance to play. A little change up. Jones collects it. Better watch out though, Kai Jones with the easy finish. Make sure you know where that man is. Beautiful feed from Dominic Bridgewater. Quick three, doesn't go from uh, Capos. And here comes Bahamas once again. They've doubled up Puerto Rico in the early stages. Oh, Bridgewater between the legs, skips it out. The three, showtime basketball from the Bahamas. Rashad Davis makes the triple, but it's all about Dominic Bridgewater. What a feed from him. And 25 already, here comes Jones, watch out. Kai Jones takes off. Rocks the cradle, reverses it at home. Bahamas are rolling in San Juan. Puerto Rico already called, called an early timeout. They need to regroup here. The game already getting away from them in the early stages. Off that high screen, another jump up. This one is good from Jorge Pacheco. But uh, right now, Puerto Rico just haven't been able to get anything in the paint. 
There's a technical foul is now going to be called against the bench as well. Just two of nine for Puerto Rico inside the three-point arc. Struggles they've had. Substitution's coming and it is all going wrong right now. In the early stages for Puerto Rico, you can see the frustration of Nelson Colón. Free throw is good, 28 points already for Bahamas. What a quarter, what an opening this is to their uh, America Cup qualifying campaign. Once more, this is own defense for Puerto Rico. Let's go to the inside. Tough turnaround doesn't go. Jones getting after the boards, but uh, couldn't collect it. And Puerto Rico finishing transition. And Alfonso Plummer, tough score from him. Points like that is what Puerto Rico needs. Making the ball at this Bahaman defense. Jones back up high. And it's definitely changed the rhythm for the Bahamas. This this zone. A lot more stagnant as the shot clock getting low. They're going to flip it up. Oh, and they get the friendly bounce. And Sean Davis, was it? They got the finish. Yes, it was. Two more for him. Tough shot from Davis. He's been some instant offense. Seven points. And he played three and a half minutes. Jump up. From... Plummer doesn't go, and then Kai Jones runs in another rebound. Jones gives it up, 10 on the clock now, and have to go quickly here. Bahamas as Puerto Rico match up in man-to-man. -man. Drink water, says he doesn't need any help, he's going to step to the side, fire the three, misses, gets his own rebound. The runner doesn't get the drop, but what a first quarter for the Bahamas. They have doubled up Puerto Rico here in the opening 10 minutes. Everything working from the opening few possessions where they could not miss from three. Bahamas have scored 30 points in the opening period and they lead this one. It is Puerto Rico 15, Bahamas 30. Could they have hope for any more? You can see there, five of nine from Bahamas. Great three-point shooting from them. And percentages all down the board. Looking good. Some of the replays then from that first 10 minutes and uh, oh. Puerto Rico started off burying an early triple but there's uh, not much more positivity after that one. It's been all about the Bahamas. Uh, Dominic Bridgewater pulling all the strings, four points, four assists for him but Davis has seven, Kai Jones has seven points and three rebounds as well. And it's been a very impressive opening quarter for Bahamas. Can they continue it? You want to follow along with all the fever action? Download the Courtside 1891 app using the QR code on your screen right now. And find out, first of all, can Bahamas continue with this? What a road victory this could be for them. Knowing they right, have to play each team twice in this four team group. Top three teams, remember, will qualify from Group D in the early stages of the other game. 
the US have gone out to the big lead over Cuba, 32 to 16. So similar score to line to as here. And Puerto Rico that will get us underway in the second quarter. If they can inbound the ball, they do get it in. And Bahamas on the defensive end. Man to man defense. Oh. The visitors here. And Masto penetration gets it into the hands of uh, Romero, but a big man. He said he is the most experienced player national team wise for this Puerto Rican lineup. He was unable to get that one to go. Romero is the, uh, you know, the, the guy who played the most minutes of the two. And are back from the 2022 America Cup roster. But a defensive stand that time from Puerto Rico. There's an offensive foul, is called, and against Bahamas. Running through the action nicely here, yeah, Puerto Rico. And so get a good look at three, and nothing but the string from Alfonso Plummer. He's come in, giving a bit of a scoring punch. Can't just be that end, though, as Gordon, the man who can score himself, misses a wild one. And now the crowd starting to get into this one. And Puerto Rico back it up in another score. And looking for Romero, can't find him now. It's Plummer once more. Plummer thought about it. Yes. Angel Matias misses badly. Mahamas to the inside. And still from Capos. Four on four in transition, Plummer gives it to Romero. Romero tries to make the up and under. Great footwork from him, but the defense equal to it, really. Credit to Nesbitt. Mm, he guarded that possession. Here is Nesbitt with the ball. And miscommunication from him. He's looking for the, the backdoor cut. I think it was Smith that was going back door, but couldn't find him. So Puerto Rico with possession. It is Pacheco with the ball. Gives it to that far side to Matias. Here comes Plummer. Plummer's been the offense. It's been the creative force for Puerto Rico. He's now Get go, trying to find some room, clock getting low. Don't have time to keep passing it around Puerto Rico. It's going to be a 24 second violation, just too long into the offense. And you can see, Ingo Madias, that's what he's saying. Yeah, he's giving a hard task, giving the ball. Not a lot of time on the clock to make something happen. It's kind of summed up the offense for Puerto Rico so far in this one. 12 and a half minutes in, just 18 points for them as a team. Bridgewater had a uh, short blow for Bahamas. He's back in now. As Puerto Rico go back into that zone. Can't give that much room if you're going to... Only 2-3. Smith misses on that occasion as Plummer shows him how it's done. Now Alfonso Plummer has come to play. Eight points for him. And he is the man that can get Puerto Rico back into this game, inspire this crowd. He forces the timeout from Bahamas as they are scoreless in this second quarter. And Puerto Rico making a little bit of a run. Got some momentum on the last couple of possessions.
Didn't get loads from that Bahamas timeout, but you know, the one thing you could clearly pick up on was execute. They have to, uh, well, they feel they need to execute against that 2-3 uh, zone that has changed. Just the rhythm of this game. And the team that come out firing. From beyond the three-point line so well. Just lost a little bit of rhythm with the change-up. So it is a nine-point lead still. Another press from Puerto Rico. Oh, they've got a good trap. Bahamas managed to, find, managed to find some space and they free up Tavario Miller. All important basket there for Bahamas. And the gamble did not pay off for Puerto Rico. And that far side, the hot hand of uh, Plummer misses everything on that occasion. And going the other way, Smith. Gives it to Drinkwater. Been impressed with him. The way he's controlled the game. Defense. And to the inside, the kick out. Trying to find Gordon. Time to make the extra pass. And Mahama's knocked down another triple. Smith again. He moves to double digits. First man there. As he has. Well in the early stages. Now Puerto Rico responds. Jumper of their own. Jorge Pacheco knocking it down. The frustration for Puerto Rico is they've lost this defensive advantage they had. Kai Jones gets to his spot. Tough shot, Kai Jones. I mean, he's a man with some pedigree. Kai Jones drafted as a top 20 pick in 2021. See the, the potential there as he switches the ball screen now. But Jekko just made one this time, it'll be a three too strong. And that rebounding battle just seems to be one way traffic right now. Enrico, though, picking up the steal. Angel Matias runs, wants contact, lays it up. Drink waters reverse, doesn't go. There is Pacheco. Holding and waiting. Reverses through Romero. Romero, nice extra pass, Capos. Wide open, can't get it to drop though. Jones. Attacks against his man, shows the speed, the athleticism. Hasn't got the finish, but good offensive rebound. And now Smith puts it on the deck, slides in. And will be at the line for two more. Good move from Smith. Heady plays, made a couple of threes. Uh, force it. Gets himself to the line. Capos goes out. Smith at the line. There's uh, Coach Johnson. Marking out the instructions from the sideline. Just one of two for Smith. And go to this 3 2 zone with the long arms, the long reach of Kai Jones playing that top spot. Romero makes the post up. Got some size advantage, still can't finish, but a foul called. Burrows, fresh man in, commits the personal. He thought it was a 
A good block. Thought he was straight up. Let's have another look. Different angle for us. Here's Romero. Trying to get to his spot. And it's just a little bit of a wayward arm from Burrows. He says he was vertical. Romero, chance to cut into this lead. First point for Ismael Romero. Puerto Rico going to continue with the zone. See Coach come on, telling his team two, number two on defense. And Zanero goes 2-4-2. Two, two. And there's drink water on this near side. Moving the ball nicely, Mahamas. No penetration until that drive and tough finish, though, from Godfrey Roll. So that's to say, you know, ball's just moving side to side. The zone will be quite happy guarding that. Roll recognised though, could play from him. There's Matthias using that physicality. Uh, can't finish. Jones grabs in another rebound. Hi Jones. Smartly gives it up as Smith is calling for the screen. They got an opening. Drinkwater wants it, gets it. Now he will fire the three. Looks straight. It looks good. It is. Drinkwater buries another one. He has been pulling the strings. The little point guard for Bahamas. Dominic Drinkwater, seven points, four assists. Bahamas open up that lead again, 43 to 27. Puerto Rico call their second timeout of uh, this first half. Drinkwater burying the three that caused the timeout. Bahamas fired up, rightly so. Great offensive production from them. 43 points already in this one. So often you see teams struggle a little for offense. You know, first game together, limited prep time before this opening game. Uh, still finding their feet, but Bahamas look like they are a well-oiled machine. And credit to Coach. Moses Johnson and the way he's got his coach, his uh, team going here. So Fernandez back at the point for Puerto Rico. One for three, scoreless he is. So if he can have a better, more productive second spell. Romero again, can't find the space. Here is Fernandez. And Small though, comes up empty. And now drink water in no hurry. It's his man step into a three though. Didn't go on this occasion. That was Burrows. And now Fernandez. Fernandez a shooter. And we'll move it on though. As Romero can't get the pass. Foul, I think, is going to go against Jones. Reaching. Trying to tip it away. Second foul on Kai Jones. See him under the basket there. Reaching over the back. And the score off the inbound is good. Cruz, well he hit an early one, it's been quiet since. I'd love him to get going, see if he can get provide that outside spark. Otto sets the screen for drink water. Now, seven on the clock for him. Trying to lose his man. Drinkwater puts himself in a bit of trouble. Flings it up. Only one winner on the glass, though. 
As here come Puerto Rico, Negron kicks it, Cruz, the crowd is up. Oh, they'd have exploded if that one had dropped. Good work from Puerto Rico. They've got a wide open look for Cruz. And as we said, that's just the difference right now. Puerto Rico haven't found that offensive rhythm. Good work on the glass. Means they'll keep it alive, though. As Burroughs commits the uh, the foul. Online possession with team fouls from now as well. Against Bahamas. Yes, right, so we've got a timeout. And some substitution. Nesbitt and Miller coming in to replace Jones and Burroughs on the inside for Bahamas. An important two minutes coming out of this timeout, though. So often you see the game settled in periods of play like this. Yeah, you know, the Bahamas have got a sizable lead. Can they push it out or will it be a chance for Puerto Rico to get themselves back into it? So the jump up from Cruz. Maybe in my possession, can they free him once again for another shot here? Here comes Fernandez. Cruz is guarded on the flare. Fernandez and high low Negron. Oh, tough finish. Negron puts it on the deck. Kind of split between two defenders. And got it off the glass. Bit of energy here defensively from Puerto Rico now. Oh, too much though. Cruz commits the foul. Fourteen foul and against Puerto Rico. See the energy from Cruz trying to pick it up. And the ball. There's some pressure, but just a little bit too much. And the, the reach. Smith kicks it. Nesbitt. Another triple. For the Bahamas. How well have they shot the ball in this opening half? Seven of 13 they are now as a team. Excuse me, 8 of 14 on that make. and counted that one here. Great three-point shooting from the visitors. And we've got another foul. Team fouls for the Bahamas. So There'll be two shots to come for Puerto Rico. And the types of foul from Nesbitt that you don't want. Another team struggling to score. Done a great job in the half court. And you're in foul, you know, in the bonus. And you commit a foul when you don't need to. Just puts Puerto Rico on the line. So both teams changing things. Pacheco coming back in. Cruz goes out, he's got two personals. That's why. He's going to take a little breather. And they get on at the line.
Negron makes the pair. Drink water, making another play, but it's rejected by Negron. And for it to be called a foul, well, drink water. Just his awareness, his ability to, you know, break a play, create for himself or others. Very impressive. Looked like he was going all the way. And credit to Nagon just to, to get back and commit the foul, really. See if he can force a miss, and he does so. It's a point saved from Nagron. That's why the, the effort was so important, so impressive. Because Drinkwater misses the first free throw. And you that point you know, come into effect later. Second is good. We're inside the final minute. And then this moves it on. Now he'll cut through. Probably come to this near side. Here he comes. Trying to find that room. Can't get Fernandez going though, can they? So it is Reed taking the triple. Misses. Great work from Romero. Can't get it. Another tip. One more attempt for Puerto Rico. They'll pull it out first, though. Fernandez. So let's reset and then nearly a turnover. Sideline possession then. And a discussion all round. Bahamas slipping into that change up, into that zone. Fernandez, four on the clock, pulls up on the elbow, tough shot, misses everything. Romero has it blocked, last 10 seconds. Bahamas with a chance. Drink water, not in a hurry. And does find Miller. Miller trying to find some room last couple of seconds. He's got to go up, doesn't recognize the time, and that is going to be the end of the first half. Well, a good defensive stand from Puerto Rico, an important one for them. As Mario Miller couldn't quite get it away in time, but still his team and a sizable lead here at the half. It is Puerto Rico 33, Bahamas 47. the numbers Puerto Rico struggling Bahamas shooting it so well from beyond the three-point line that has been the big difference in this game and uh, you know, Smith Jones Bridgewater that trio doing a great job for the Bahamas Plummer a cameo from him really as a scoring threat for Puerto Rico And the highlights from the first half then is uh, you know, a sizable lead for Bahamas. Puerto Rico would have come into this game as favourites. Uh, playing here at home, coming off you know, a solid 2022 uh, America Cup America campaign. But Bahamas searching for just their second ever appearance at the America Cup level really have showed the quality they have guys like kai jones right there uh, proving his value as they have opened up a 14 point lead here 47 to 33 at the half uh, primarily off the back of that eight of 14 three-point shooting a host of guys have jumped on board especially early on and that's forced the defense for puerto rico to extend stretch out to guard the shooters now leaving that space on the inside so what will puerto rico be able to do at the half can they come up with anything to change the way this game is going and mixed up the defense which has uh, helped them stay within touching distance but they need something to get themselves back into this one probably more so on the offensive end 
because right now Bahamas have put together a very impressive opening 20 minutes and they'll be full of confidence of extending that through the second half and a win here what a uh, opportunity that would be for their hopes of qualification to the America well we're going to take a break we'll be back in about 10 minutes time for second half action make sure you don't go anywhere education health justice we sometimes take these simple things for granted they're not common for all of us we are all born on the same planet but not with the same opportunities whatever our gender color belief or capability we are one we are all on the same team let's convince those who never thought they would do it that they can we can Together, we are stronger. No matter your origin, basketball can bring everyone together. Basketball for good.
Welcome back to San Juan in uh, Puerto Rico. Half time here then. As the hosts stand down a, a large deficit at the uh, the interval. It is Puerto Rico 33, Bahamas 47. If you're just joining us, a strong first half from the visitors. And Alfonso Plummer and leading the way off the bench for Puerto Rico in the scoring totals. They're going to need more of him. 
in the second half. It's been a Puerto Rican offense that has yet to get going, really. Just uh, 7 of 23 from two-point range. They have hit uh, uh, five threes. They've just struggled, really, to find the ability to, to keep that scoreboard ticking over. On the other hand, though, Bahamas full of confidence, full of offense. And uh, they've made eight threes in that first 20 minutes, led by some strong play of Kai Jones. Uh, Kentuan Smith, who has nine points apiece. Eight for Dominic Bridgewater, who has four assists as well. And then uh, Michelle Davis, seven points in just uh, seven minutes. So what is the response Puerto Rico will have coming out of this halftime break? Will they be able to make those adjustments needed to secure victory here? Remember, it is Group D action in the FIBA America Qualifiers 2025. Three of the four teams will qualify forward in a home loss is not the way you want to start your campaign if you are Puerto Rico. As Bahamas go to Kai Jones early. He doesn't like the call. It's going to be called as an offensive foul. And I have to check this one because that's going to be foul number three on Kai Jones. And a big call because Jarrett Jones, you know, five, nine points, five rebounds. A big factor on both ends of the floor for the Bahamas. Used him as the top of that 3 2 zone. He stays in here. He's not slowing, is he? Jones goes to the steal, doesn't get it. And Puerto Rico can't capitalize as Smith snatches in the rebound. And Bahamas will give it straight back. So scrappy play, both ends of the floor there. And then got on. Had a couple of good plays. Back end of that first half. Looks on. Fernandez now at the point for Puerto Rico. Ooh, they want to have a better second half. Fernandez, I have six from the field. There's Cruz forcing it up. That's not the way for Puerto Rico to get back into the game. Five on four advantage for Bahamas and Gordon doing what he does best. That is get downhill at the rim and score. As Romero tries to settle things for Puerto Rico. Ball going side to side nicely for them. Hasn't really got inside the three-point line until now. Strong drive and foul. Reed will be at the line. Puerto Rico being unselfish, moving that defense, but they've got to find that penetration they got here from, uh, from Davon Reed. I mentioned the, the size, the versatility of that Bahamas front line. If uh, Puerto Rico can keep chipping away with the fouls, that could change the game. Second against Miller, three against Jones already. And importantly, Reed goes 2-4-2. Two two. Gordon. De facto point guard for Bahamas. As it tipped, it will stay with Bahamas though. Gordon from the side. Gets it into Jones. And now drink water. Such a steady player. Drink water off the screen. Finds Jones. Bodies around him. Moves it on. And now Smith, five on the clock. Steps back. Takes the three. Too strong, but the long shot gives a long rebound to Gordon. And 14 for him. Gordon gets away from his man, loses it twice, stays with it, throws it off the glass to Miller, and he will have two more. And that is why I said about the fouls for guys like Miller. Because they have been producing in this game so far. And so Cruz. Has it, attacking the basket, kicks it, good extra pass, now Reed once more, Davon Reed finds the extra pass but the defense just too good for Mahamas, no opening for Puerto Rico, and, uh, just haven't had the confidence to step up and make the shot, so you see Reed fakes it, tries to get better but doesn't, 
All about the defense of Mahamas. So Jones goes out. Great opportunity for the Bahamas to rest him right now. With this 16 point lead, you don't need to risk him. As Drinkwater gets into the lane, hangs but misses. And Reed will rebound and push. Foul. So Smith has called for it. It's too much contact there. Uh, not a bad foul to try and uh, slow the tempo. The only problem for Bahamas is that's three team fouls already for them. Just two and a half minutes into this second half. Looks like they're sliding into that 3-2 zone once again. You see Fernandez trying to find the room. There's no space whatsoever as he eventually gets a three away. And it's the first field goal. First points of the night for Fernandez. 0 of 6 he was before that one. Miller moving it on now into the hands of Bridgewater. Back to Miller. Miller kicks it to Gordon. Once again, the crowd trying to get their team going. Little shot fake and jumper is good. Well, Smith making another one. Great play from him. The man who plays his uh, club basketball in Sweden for the Lea. He's a 40% three-point shooter across 25 games in Sweden this year. So he has that pedigree. As Romero gets the score. Teams training baskets right now. As an offensive foul. Negron draws his second charge of the second half. Second foul against Kentwan Smith. Thirteen point game here still. Puerto Rico haven't been within single digits since the start of the game. And so Mado nearly loses it, manages to save it before the backcourt. Fernandez is looking confident now, isn't he? That one make has got him going. Second three. Crowd starting to get into it here in San Juan. How will Bahamas respond? The defense chance coming out. Smith's three is good. Wow. Canton Smith just burying from beyond the three point line once again. Four of eight for him. From the field, we have seven for three, as you saw there. Reed. Trying to find a pass that's not there. Drink water, pulls up in transition. Uh, what a response for Bahamas. We said, how will they cope with the noise? How will they cope with the crowd getting into it? Well, that's the answer, isn't it? Smith and then Bridgewater back to back. Silence the crowd and make it a 16 point game once more.
on in that timeout. A lot of frustration. You can understand why the chance was there. They had the momentum. They had the crowd into it, didn't they? Puerto Rico, but Bahamas have responded. And they've got to do it all again. Out of this timeout, where will they go? They have the cross screen being mentioned. It's what they're trying to find, but it is Plummer. And once more, Alfonso Plummer. He's the man that's going to have to try and save Puerto Rico. Now he's going on the defensive end, nearly a steal. Trent Walter escapes. Dances with the ball here. Trent Walter trying to find that room. Not a lot of passing going on for the Bahamas. Smith takes another three, why not? Barely missed here tonight. Right. Plummer the other way. Loses it, no whistle. Numbers for Bahamas. Now take an early three and drink water buries it. Wow. Oh, I'm not sure about the decision for drink water originally. They forced it up, but when you're four or five from three, you're allowed a couple of freebies, really. He makes it. There's Fernandez has got going in this second half. His third triple. At the start of the game, though, teams trading baskets, trading threes. Team started with five straight, and now we've had... What's that? Four in a row for the Bahamas. Bridgewater makes another one. He's five of six. Negron rejected, but will keep possession. And Puerto Rico just can't keep up with the scoring we've seen from Bahamas so far. Marazzo coming in. Crowd likes this one. Josue Arazo in. Next action for him. What can he do to help his team? And this once again, Fernandez. Three threes. Gives it up. Good clean look for Puerto Rico, and they bury another one. Great team basketball. That's great work from them as Reed knocks it down. But it's got to be both ends. Can't trade. You've got to get stops. First foul against Puerto Rico. Plum was frustrated, but it's not a bad foul. Allows them to set the defense. Ian dropping into that zone. So this bit comes back. Smith gets a breather. This is the chance for Puerto Rico. Three minutes here. No Smith. No Jones on the floor, but we've got to stop that man drink water. It roll. His triple doesn't go. And another offensive rebound. The fake from drink water gets it. It's on the far side. And uh, Bahamas just looks at smart right now. Making all the right decisions. Davis, no hurry to shoot the three. Knew he could get the defender closing him out towards the foul. Miller. Grabs the ball. Still got 10 seconds on the clock. Let's get into the hands of drink water. He finds Miller. Miller beats his man with one quick dribble. Just too easy at the end of a shot clock there. Tavario Miller with the score. Fernandez to the inside. He's doing everything. 11 points all in the second half for Fernandez. Water. See some attention. Has the switch against Capos. Loses it, picks it up. Tries to use his speed, but 
dribbles it off his own leg. Frustration from Drinkwater. And puts up the, the finger to apologise. Says that one's on me. Fernandez gives it up. Surely they're going to come back to him again. Reed using the high screen. Loses it two on one. Trent Walter stops. The crowd wants a carry. They don't get it. Miller in the low post and selfishly skips it far side. Three doesn't go for a roll. And the rebound tipped out by Miller. And Miller's had a fine game, kind of quiet with the, the strong player Bridgewater, Jones, in the way that they've shot the ball, but and Smith and uh, the way that he shot the ball with Miller. Nine points, nine rebounds, four of five from the field. He is. Here is Plummer, he is the danger man. This is uh, Fernandez in this second half. He'll give it up the three. But Arazo can't hit. Which is the crowd here in San Juan wanted him to. Matias back in, there he is. Last 50 seconds or so of three quarter time. Miller steps out, moves it to Nesbitt. Now Gordon. Gordon goes to Nesbitt. And shoot over his man. And bury it. Scoreboard just continues to roll for the Bahamas. Another 20 point quarter for them. Hernandez gets it back, shoots over the top of Miller, makes another one. Fernandez has come to life. And he was 0 of 6 in the first half. He is now 5 for 5 in the second, including four threes. And Gordon answers quickly the other way before the buzzer sounds. And some life for the uh, Puerto Rican offense, 24 points for them. In that quarter, by far their highest total, they also gave up 24 to the Bahamas, though. So it remains this 14-point advantage at three-quarter time. Puerto Rico, 57, Bahamas, 71. Some superb three-point shooting from both teams. Both above 45%. Puerto Rico cannot get going from two-point range, though. That is the struggle, and they've not been able to slow down this Bahamas offense either. That's what they've got to be talking about in this timeout. Some of the plays from the third quarter. Mm -hmm. Questions, really, are all for Puerto Rico. They're going to have to do something different defensively or really step up the level because... And right now, 14-point lead it is a sizable one for Bahamas, and they're full of confidence as well. They got to rest Jones, they got to rest Smith at the end of that third quarter. They still have this sizable lead as well. Some better offense, as we said, from Puerto Rico, led by this man, Fernandez. Really, he's been uh, the X factor coming in. Got his team going. But every time there was a question asked, Bahamas stepped up, drink water. Superb three-pointing point shooting performance for him and for Smith as well. It was those two alone. Bridgewater five of seven. Smith three of eight. So they are eight of fifteen between the two of them. Excellent shooting display. Mm -hmm. 
Here we go, fourth and final quarter. Puerto Rico need to come back. 3-2 zone for Bahamas. There's Fernandez trying to find that room. Can't. Corner three, no good. Battle for the rebound. Puerto Rico will get a fresh possession. A lot of room. Romero finishes it off. Good start for Puerto Rico. Attacking that offensive glass against the zone. And as we said, it's this end of the floor. They've got to make the changes. Plummer hounding Gordon. Drinkwater moves it on. Everybody back for the Bahamas. Here comes Jones on the screen. He's going to clear out and let Drinkwater try and find some room. Oh, Drinkwater with a beautiful footwork to get the finish. Just lost his man on the drive. What a game for him. 19 points personal. Oh, five assists as well. And stay in this 3 2 zone. Drive doesn't go. It's a tough task. Shooting over the size and length of Kai Jones. Gordon. Pulls it out. Has the mismatch. Gets downhill. Finds drink water. And a rare miss from drink water. Puerto Rico looking to run in transition. Angel Matias gets the score. That's what they've got to do. Stops leading to transition baskets. Drink water using the high screen. No feed. Nesbitt. Oh, he looks smooth on that stroke, doesn't he? David Nesbitt, second one he's made. Hernandez. Plummer fires up a three, doesn't get it. And it is Nesbitt on the glass. No hurry for Bahamas, they've got the lead. Don't need to rush here, can manage the game out. As they get into hands of Trinkwater, who finds Jones, good pass out. Look at the ball movement, they get it to the shooter. But Smith can't convert on this occasion. Romero kicks it, Plummer uses his speed. Can't finish, but the rebound out has gone out. Smith grabbed it, came down on the line. Back to Puerto Rico. Plummer goes out. Negro comes in. Replaces Romero. There's a lead. Gets to the elbow. What a wide open shot. Comes up and nothing. And once more the harmless can manage this game. Clock down. And this drink water. It's a Nesbitt. Nesbitt. Fires another one. Oh, what a game. David Nesbitt, 10 points, 4 of 4 from the field. That inside grouping for Bahamas. How good have they been? Nesbitt, Jones, Smith, and uh, Miller as well. Just rotating beautifully. All given such production. It's a timeout for Puerto Rico. See if we can listen in.
another timeout. Bahamas remain in that zone. Puerto Rico just haven't really been able to unlock it, have they? And there is something here. I'll get Fernandez a look. And he continues the hot streak. Fernandez with a fine second half. Can it be enough to inspire his team though? Talking about that inside group as Nesbitt. Now Bahamas misses his first shot of the game, the offensive rebound. But in that timeout, just scanning through the statistics. You know, Jones 9.6 rebounds, Nesbitt 10.3 rebounds, Smith 14.4 rebounds, Gordon's three there, doesn't go, and then Miller 9-9 nine and nine as well, so what a, a combination those guys have been rotating for the Bahamas on the inside. As Angel Matias finds a little bit of room, and a good mini run for Puerto Rico. Makes it a 12-point game, forces a timeout for the Bahamas. Doesn't seem they're going to be able to listen in to Coach Moses Johnson's timeout. And no doubt, you know, he won't be panicked yet. Still that double-digit lead there for his team. He hasn't given that up. He just wants them to resettle. Focus once again. On stage, it was a, a big run. To stretch the game out to 22 to 11. Now the Bahamas have never really looked back from. And through a cold spell going into the half, but still the lead remained at 14 on stage as large as 17 points. Now that this time out then, where will they go? Nesbitt gives it up. Look at the ball movement. Trent Walter holds it. Finds Jones or does he? Now Jones has pushed from behind. Switching defense from Puerto Rico has left them with the mismatch. Fernandez trying to guard Jones. Smart play. And Smith gets a clean one. That's just dangerous, isn't it? How are you going to leave a guy like uh, Kenton Smith open? He makes. It's 4-3 of the game, 17 personal for him. A little bit more breathing room for the Bahamas as we're meet, meeting the midway point of this fourth and final period. Reed's three, doesn't go. Jones snatches it in. Rebound number seven for Kai Jones. Gives it back to Drinkwater, they're feeding. Nesbitt, low post, Nesbitt, trying to find some room. It will remain with Bahamas, only out of bounds. And a technical fouls can be called because Fernandez took it out of the hands of Drinkwater, who is still out of bounds. Second technical foul then against uh, Puerto Rico. Fernandez tipped it away from the inbounder. Not allowed to do that. Delay here. 
And the free throw was good. And that will be in line possession. Drink water to bring it in. Jones gives it up. Smith trying to find some room. Five on the clock. Flips it out. And the uh, shot clock buzzer goes and it didn't reset. At one stage, I thought Puerto Rico had reset it to 24. <laughs> And uh, then giving it immediately back, but they never had possession. So the clock didn't reset. And it is now their ball. Trailing by 16 here. Alfonso Plummer back in. They need his scoring punch. Swinging him through to this near corner. Fernandez trying to find the room, gives it to Plummer. This is the man. And Plummer's pass. No target whatsoever. An easy takeaway for the Bahamas who so can milk some more clock. And this bit wants it deep. Has it, kicks it to Smith. Smith back to Nesbitt. Ten on the clock for him. He's in no hurry. Now Smith, low clock. It's a better shot this time. Doesn't get it. Ingo Morales pushing on Matias. Can't finish. Oh, stay. With Puerto Rico. As Matias not able to finish. Nespit couldn't snatch in the rebound. Frustration from him. Time ticking off that clock, though. That is their friend right now. The Bahamas. Lovely feed, Negron with the finish. Wow, what a difference. First half to second half for Fernandez. 17 points, four assists now for him. Negron with the finish, but an you know, 0 of 6 first half. Drink water. Gives it out to Jones. Jones wants a ball screen. Puts it on the deck, beats his man, takes contact. Hangs. And will be at the line for two. Conor Jones loving the freedom of this role he has for the Bahamas, getting to put it on the floor. Tax the basket. He said, what a pedigree this man has, though. The 19th pick of the New York Knicks in 2021. Immediately traded to the Charlotte Hornets. Two years. And spent with the Hornets. And now Reed to Fernandez. Gets past his man. Throws it up, Negron with the finish. Another good play from Fernandez. Jones trying to find that room. Spins off the glass, gets it to go. Once more, Kai Jones putting in the work for Bahamas. The lead 16 points still inside three minutes left. Strong drive and the finish. Bounces clear for Angel Matias. The Bahamas will be in no hurry here. They've got to get it over the half, first of all. They do that well. Gordon holding and waiting. Jones coming to set the screen and give some space for Gordon. And turnover. Smith and Gordon just run into each other on that far side. Romero coming back. Life being sucked out of the arena here in San Juan, though. Nicolas here, Roberto Clemente, just uh, hasn't been able to get going. 
Haven't had a lot to shout about tonight. A great performance through this first uh, 38 minutes for the Bahamas. Can they finish it off? Is there a miracle from Puerto Rico? As Reed loses it. And Smith comes away with it. Drink water. Gets across the half. Now he's in no rush. Done a good job milking this clock. Now Bahamas is drink water's three. Doesn't go. Fernandez pushing the other way. Skip pass from him. But a turnover. As Plummer goes out. As good as he's been scoring the ball. Alfonso Plummer. That's his third turnover in the game. Smith safely to the hands of Gordon. Head on Gordon. Holding, waiting, gives it to Jones now. Jones to Smith, fires another one. He's made four, couldn't hit on that occasion. There's Matthias again gets to his right hand. We have to earn him from the line. Points difference, we talked about in the build-up. Important in this game, though. These two teams will face off again. And, uh, you know, on that occasion, I'm assuming uh, Bahamas are able to get victory here today. It will be the difference in points between the two teams. So if Puerto Rico can win on the road in Bahamas, that margin of victory may well come into uh, effect. First is good for Matias. Next two of two on his first trip. As Bahamas are bringing in wholesale changes. Got to make sure they maintain this lead. It's at 14 right now. They won't want this game to get into single figures. They may well come to regret that. Neater in qualification. And this roll crosses the half. Hangs on to it successfully. Davis is a steady hand out there. Keeps it up. A jump up. No good for uh, Burrows. A near steal for Newsom. And instead a kick violation. And Puerto Rico, 54 seconds left. A timeout being called by Puerto Rico. They know how important that points difference is. That's why they're calling it. Not necessarily for the win here tonight, but to ensure that the margin of victory is as small as possible. Fernandez and his lob pass Fernandez has been superb in the uh, second half it's going to be in a losing effort and certainly have advanced the ball. Looking for Fernandez to come high. Here he is. 
That's Romero open. There's a foul that's going to be called. There's not team fouls yet against the Bahamas. So I've possession once more then. Here is Fernandez taking a tough three. Doesn't get it. Good work on the boards from Burrows. Newsom gives it up. Davis. Looking for something. Here comes Newsom. Four on the clock. He's got to force something up. Gives it to Davis. One for him. Fires and he makes. Big basket for Davis. Oh, force at the end of the shot clock, really. Referee's going to talk the sun over. I think it's a delay of game they're discussing. He's going to the monitor. Is it a two or a three? Is that what they're looking at? Works for Puerto Rico. They're going to chance to have a free timeout here. Draw something up. Let's have a look. We must be looking to see. Well, first of all, time. And also, if it's a two or a three. So it's definitely a two, that's for sure. Does he get away in time is the question. Can't see on that clock, on that angle. This is probably a better look. No. Great camera work. So good work from... Uh, the sideline as well, Coach Colom. He was the man that asked for the referees to go look at it. Said it's an important call, two points extra. Like we said in the head-to-head, -head, in the points difference, this may well be the, uh, the difference between qualification or not. So the basket is not going to count. It's waved away. It's a 24-second violation instead. And so we will return to play Puerto Rico having the ball. 72 to 86. Last 20 seconds. Hernandez gives it up. Another strong drive and finish from Madias. Oh, the leak out though. Easy score going the other way. Four Bahamas as Burroughs gets himself on the mark. Reed sets the feet for three, buries it. And now Davis, for one final chance, can't take it. Oh, what a victory this has been for Bahamas. It ended up being the 11-point margin of victory, but a great performance throughout the 40 minutes for the Bahamas and a, uh, a valuable road win for them. Puerto Rico 77, Bahamas 88. We see had a much changed Puerto Rico team from the one we saw at the 2022 America Cup. They take nothing away from this performance of the Bahamas. They are trying to get back to the America Cup for the second time. They've only once been there before, and that was in 1995. A uh, great win for them, a big early step in qualification for their chances of making it through to the 2025 edition. So, quick look at the statistics, it's the three-point shooting though, that blew the game open for Bahamas. You know, both the, uh, the percentage and number of threes they made 
14 threes at 43% was the difference in this one. Smiles all round, and rightly so. A couple of standout performers from the Bahamas team. That man there, Dominic Bridgewater, probably the main one for me. Great footwork on the finish. That's two of his 20 points. Six assists, three steals as well to go with it. As uh, he controlled the backcourt for Bahamas and then it was that front court that we talked about 13 and 7 for Kai Jones 9 and 9 for Tavario Miller 10 for Nesbitt and then 17 points 5 rebounds 2 assists 3 steals 2 blocks for Kentuan Smith so great performance from that group for this Bahamas team and what an opportunity it sets up the other way uh, Fernandez just uh, unconscious in that second half after going 0 for 6 in the first half. He went 6 of 7 in the second. 17 points and 6 assists for him. And he was one of uh, five double-figure scorers for Puerto Rico in the end. Angel Matias had 10. Plummer had 11. We said the three turnovers from him. Reed, you know, he had 14 points and four turnovers. And then Christian Negron, he had 10 points personal. These teams will now you know, set their sights on their next game. The way the qualification works is it will be a short turnaround for both of these two teams. The Bahamas will head back to Nassau. And they will face off against uh, Puerto Rico once again. Uh, the return leg coming from these two teams. And that is going to be played on Sunday. So will that points difference we talked about at the end have anything to do with the final result? Bahamas get the victory here today. And they have the 11-point win for Puerto Rico. They will know they'll want to win and win by more than 11 in the return game. Not leave anything for chance. Because, of course, facing off against the same team twice, should you, you know, come out of that series on top, what an opportunity it is for you to take one of those three qualification spots coming out of Group D. So what changes will the coaches be able to make in that short turnaround period? For sure, that zone defense of the Bahamas bothered Puerto Rico. It affected the offensive rhythm. And as we said during the game, you know, now you've had a game's look, you understand the opposition a little bit better. How will that scouting work? Can you make some changes to really uh, you know, help your team to victory? That is the leaderboard in Group D after the opening game then. A 21 point victory for USA over Cuba. Those two teams will face off again uh, on Sunday as well. And Bahamas, the road win over Puerto Rico in our game to set up the, uh, the very early group standings there in Group D. Bahamas and USA at the top, Puerto Rico and Cuba dropping to 0 and 1. Still lots to play for though in qualification to the FIBA. America. And I will uh, leave you from San Juan in Puerto Rico as uh, the visitors Bahamas picked up an all-important road win.